हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस द सेकंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट 290 द क्वेश्चन नेम इज काउंट लैटेस्ट पॉइंट्स इनसाइड अ सर्कल सो इट सेज दैट वी आर गिविन गिविन अ 2D डी इंटीजर एरे सर्कल्स वेयर सर्कल ऑफ आई रिप्रेजेंट एक्स आई वाई आई एंड आर आई सो एक्स आई एंड वाई वाई आई आर दॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल एंड आर आई इज द रेडियस ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर सर्कल सो वी आर गिविन अ लिस्ट ऑफ सर्कल्स इन दिस इन दिस केस we need to return the number of lattice points that are present inside at least one circle so let's see what a lattice point is so a lattice point is is a point with integer coordinates that means we only need to consider the integer coordinates not not the uh, coordinates which has like 1.1 or which has a point in, in it uh, the second condition is points that lie on the circumference of a circle are also considered to be inside it so that means if you see what a circle is that means all the points which are present inside the circle and on the circumference of the on of the circle that those integer coordinates will be known as the lattice points so let's see yeah let's say this one so we we just have one circle in this case it's 2 to 1 that means the circle centered at uh, coordinates 2 comma 2 with a radius 1 so this is the circle the highlighted one and what are the points that we we have as lattice points so if we come from the left then 1 comma 2 is one of the points then what could be the next one if we see for x for x equals to 2 that means the coordinate uh, the coordinates having uh, the x coordinates as 2 we have 2 comma 3 2 comma 2 and 2 comma 1 so one point was this one the second is this when we come to the uh, Uh, coordinates which have uh, x coordinate as 3 then we just have one option so total we have five options one one when we have x coordinate as 1 three options when we have x coordinate as 2 and one option when we have three coordinate one uh, the x coordinate as 3 now we we don't need to go beyond this because those points will lie outside the circle and those will not be the lattice points uh, similar we can see example number 2 So in this case again we are given two circles one is uh, this is 2 comma 2 and the radius is 2 again so the orange one orange or red whatever you say it the second circle is 3 comma 4 with a radius of 1 so these are the two circles and again if we move from left to right uh, these are the points that tell that uh, these are some of the lattice points so we'll see how we need to compute it uh, if we come down Uh, these cons constraints will be very helpful for us in in, in devising the algorithm so it says that the uh, number of uh, circles that will be given will be uh, 200 like the max number of circles will be 200 uh, the length of each circle array will be again 3 uh, the coordinates will be will lie between 1 to 100 and again radius will be minimum of x coordinate and y coordinate of a circle so that means um, if i consider then uh, my radius or i would say the leftmost point in worst case can lie uh, between minus 100 because if our coordinates is 1 comma 1 or 1 comma 100 whatever it is and if we um, and if the radius is though it says minimum of x comma x x i comma y i but it, again if we consider the maximum value of the radius that will be 100 so it will be minus 99 and if i talk about the uh, rightmost extreme that means if our x and y coordinates is 100 comma 100 and in that case if our radius is also 100 as it as the question says so that will the 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 x coordinate will go maximum up to x and y coordinate will go maximum up to 200 so if i explain you by writing it then we can see that it's 1 comma the x and the x and y lie between 1 to 100 1 to 100 i'm writing on line number 34 1 to 100 so that means e even if i consider uh, the radius of the radius to be 100 then what would be the leftmost coordinate uh, the it would be 1 minus 100 comma what could be the rightmost coordinate again if if it is 100 comma 100 so it will be 100 plus 100 that comes out to be 200 so we are doing a brute force here because the constraints constraints are pretty low so all we need to do is uh, we we need to run a loop uh from minus 100 to 200 so we are running a nested loop the first one is for the x coordinate what are the possible values of the x coordinate the second one is what are the possible values of y coordinate okay 
and uh, so again as we as we saw uh, in the explanation it could go from minus 100 to 2 2 plus 200 again it's minus it, it should go from minus 999 but again i have taken it minus 100 now uh, we have taken a variable uh, whether that whether we have found a lattice point or not we'll see why i have taken it uh, and then we traverse the number of circles that we are given now if you see in the question uh, the lattice point it says that number of lattice points that are present inside at least one circle that means as soon as we find that a point is present inside any of the circles we are good to go we can add that to the answer so that means we traverse the number of circles we call a function that whether the current point is a lattice point for the current circle or not the current circle is the kth circle we pass the x and y coordinate that is i and j and if we find that the current is a lattice point so we increment our answer we break the loop because we don't need to traverse for the other circles for this coordinate because this already is a lattice point so no need to uh, check this point for other circles so let's see what this function says this function receives a circle and an x and y coordinate that is an i and j from line number 17 and 18 uh, this is just for readability i've done now uh, for a circle the formula of a circle is that it it goes something like uh, the x coordinate uh, so you can just reverse it but again that would work so it says that uh, the point that you have received uh, the coordinate x coordinate minus the center of the circle the square plus y coordinate minus the center of the y coordinate of the center of the circle square and that should be less than equal to rate the square of radius of the circle so if i write it it would be something like x minus uh, x1 suppose uh, if I take square, this is the formula. If I write plus this is this, is this if I write 2 equals to again radius of the circle r to power 2. Yeah, so this is the formula of the circle. So, if so, this is the formula of the circle. Now, if I write it less than less than then this will represent all the points which lie inside the circle now what we need to find we need to find all the points which lie inside the circle as well as on the circumference so the formula will become less than equal to so we have received the x and y coordinates we have the center of the circle we just need to calculate it so the value will be uh, the, the difference of the x coordinates whole square the difference between the y coordinates whole square uh, the, the addition of this this should be less than equal to the square of radius of the circle if this is true we return if this is this condition satisfied we return true else we return false and then we are good to go uh, yeah so see you in the next video